Ah, oh, what a bust this trip has turned out to be. Yeah. The next time I take your advice about which road to follow... I am terribly you? sorry, Captain. I felt certain I knew a shortcut to Lime Lake. Six <laughs> hours to travel less than 200 miles. Why didn't you speak up, Kane? I had interfere with the police department? Oh, never, never, never. Well, at least it's encouraging to find Mr. Mark's car parked out there. Oh, uh, uh, well... Yes, I'm Captain Burke at the police department. Is this the Sloan home? This is the Sloan house, and I am Lydia Sloan. Oh, well, uh, a man by the name of John Marks has been reported missing, and we're looking for him. Is he here, Miss Sloan? Yes, Mr. Marks is here. Won't you come inside? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, by the way, this is Sergeant Cross and Mr. Martin Kane. How do you do? How do you do? My sister, Sarah Sloan, gentlemen. How do you do? How do you do? Hello. Now, perhaps you'll take us to Mr. Marks? Of course. Please follow me. Please get out of my way, Sarah. Ah! Ah! No, 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 no. Let the nice man have the knife. I'll find you uh, another one. Take uh, a room, Sarah. Uh, I'm sure you lock her in this house. Uh, Come on, Agnes. Uh, uh, we'll explore your room. Perhaps we can find something to amuse us. Or a lamb. A spider or an ant. Nice playthings. Yes. Agnes is rather eccentric about living things, Captain. She enjoys destroying spiders and ants. She pulls off her legs. She had a kitten once. She strangled it. Planning to do a little excavating, Miss Sloan? Sarah and I were about to bury poor Mr. Marks. We felt it was the proper thing to do. Well, didn't it occur to you that the police department might be interested in this murder? Murder? Yeah. Mr. Marx was not murdered, Captain. It was an unfortunate accident. First, I don't think Agnes has the mentality to use that bottle, even if she knew what was in it. And take a look at the bottle. It's white clean. No dust on it at all. Well, Mr. Oh, I, I see. You, you mean your theory is that one of the other sisters slipped the uh, poison into Mr. Marks' tea? Then wipe the bottle clean of all fingerprints and then somehow got Agnes to handle it. Yes, as five will get you fifty, that's just about what happened. Oh, well, what about the carving job on the old man? No sane person would have done that, Kane. I think you'll find, Captain, that either Agnes or Lydia carved up the old man, and then after the job was done, put the uh, knife into Agnes's hands. I also think that you'll find that one of those two sisters is as uh, dangerous. As a matter of fact, dangerously insane more than Agnes. 